Hello and welcome. This is GIS Nigeria. Coming up on the program. Nigerian government resumed trial of Namdi Kano for terrorism, treasonable felony and other offenses in Abuja. Watching the watchdog, we look at the controversial bills seeking to update media regulation in Nigeria. And breaking limits, Zimbabwe's unemployed youth create opportunities in surprising sectors. Plus, Hi, my name is Rola Kirishiji. Check me out. The development manager seeking to transform work culture in Nigeria through technology. Welcome to Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels TV. Where we bring you stories making the rounds on social media. I'm Ajoke Hulotze. Our top story this week. The trial of the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ipob and Namdekano, on charges bordering on terrorism, treasonable felony, unlawful possession of firearms and management of an unlawful society has resumed before the Federal High Court in Abuja. Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami told journalists on Tuesday that Kano was arrested and repatriated to Nigeria on Sunday following a collaborative effort between security agencies in Nigeria and Interpol. What does this all mean? Let's find out in this report. On Tuesday, an unlikely piece of news broke out in Nigeria. Self-acclaimed leader of the proscribed secessionist indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, has, for your information, been intercepted. This generated a shockwave that startled everyone. We were not expecting this kind of uh, arrest, and that shows the collaborative effort of our security agencies. And uh, the issue of uh, this arrest is a, is a major one. I almost commend the uh, security agency. Uh, when someone left British soil with British passport and uh, he was traveling uh, to third countries and he was intercepted in a country other than the British and was brought to Nigeria, possibly against his will and presumably against the will of the British authorities. Namdi Kano has been the latest and arguably the loudest deafening voice of secession in Nigeria in recent years. He used social media to push his separatist agenda and has a huge following. He has been accused of engaging in subversive activities that include inciting violence, in 2015, he was arrested in Lagos and paraded in court by the authorities. The following year, he was remanded in prison but was released on bail a year after on health grounds. Shortly after, he disappeared. He will only speak to his followers via social media. His utterances often termed as inciting. Kano's iPod has been accused of causing insecurity in the southeast in recent months. Allegations the group continue to deny. IPOP's lawyer says Kanu hasn't done anything wrong. But what does his arrest mean for the quest for self-determination? Mr. Kanu and the uh, members of the indigenous people of Biafra, and even those of them in Western Nigeria that are also pushing for self-determination, uh, they possess a political opinion that is clearly protected under the laws of Federation of Nigeria. Nobody is against uh, Nam the Kanu's agitation for Biafra what should be done in a proper manner, not with criminality. Human rights lawyer Monde Obani says the days ahead may not be as easy. There was a, a, a very uh, uh, small interview uh, that took place between him and the judge uh, on, the, on the day he was re rearranged. The question was why did he jump, uh, why was he not available for his trial? And he said that it's only a living person. Uh, that could face his trial, that his life was uh, in danger. He felt that his life was in danger. That's why he had to uh, run away because there was an invasion of his father's home uh, by the military, according to him, and that made him to, to, to run away in order to save himself and save his life. So I don't know whether government will want to uh, bring that as a charge, or that also may likely probably affect the, the decision of the court in further granting him bail because I'm sure his lawyers will want to renew 
uh, the application for his bail, that he should be granted bail. The court will take into account all the surrounding circumstances, including uh, the allegation of uh, having John bail, and also his own defense that ordinarily would have wanted to face his trial, but for the intervention of the military. So these are things that will play out in the days ahead. The British High Commission in Nigeria says Namdi Kano, who is also a British national, was not arrested in the United Kingdom for extradition purposes, as been reported in some media publications. The Federal High Court in Abuja has fixed July the 26th for the continuation of the trial of the self-acclaimed separatist leader. IPOP's counsel is hopeful that justice will be served. I have confidence in the Nigerian judiciary to ultimately do justice in the matter. As the countdown to July 26 commences, many Nigerians are watching to see how justice will be served in this matter. We'll keep tracking events in that story as they unfold.